All right, we back. True news and reviews, man. We got Troy Av on deck. Yeah, Troy Av, he's sounding off on DJ Vlad. You know he had to get his lick back after DJ he Vlad said to, he's man. a chump that got his man's killed. Yeah, and, I um, think yeah, he definitely gone. He definitely had to. It was you know, if you let DJ Vlad try you and you don't say nothing, no, no, man. I think your gangster may have to go on trial, man. <laughs> I think Vlad had some. some I mean, valid look, point? Vlad, Vlad's a point. Vlad's a friend of Tax Stone. Tax Stone's the the guy on the other side of this beef. The Tax Stone versus Troy Aft thing. So he's holding down his man. Uh, that's going to be expected. They they both yeah. have friends on opposite sides of this. Uh, Vlad said that Troy Ave has threatened him in the past about not sharing his music or something like that. So I get why Vlad don't like him, you know. And Troy Ave has never been the type of guy that's going to back down. So I guess let's get into the <laughs> substance of what was said. Um, okay. He did bring up my son getting body slammed on video. And, I got to um, see that. I, yeah, I, gotta you know, see I was that. tempted to look it up, but I'm like, oh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> look, we all catch a bad <laughs> one every now and then. You know how I feel about that. If a nigga got body slammed on video, hey, man, I don't. <laughs> all, none of us is above getting uh, body slammed. You know what I'm saying? It could happen to you. You might get You're into right. it with a it nigga. It could happen to us, but my thing is, dog, if you yeah. got stuff on, if you got, listen, if you got stuff out there that where you're doing things that, you know, and you trying to check out somebody's gangster. I just think calling somebody out when they got can easily just pick up some stuff with you. If this is true, if well, there's just, video, well, let of me him say getting... this is actually relevant. He brought up the fact that my son was Vlad's bodyguard, so he has an ongoing <laughs> beef with. Uh, you know, he has all it's like, like oh, no, right? Oh, no, that you said it. It's like they all trying to team up. It's like, yo, I <laughs> fuck with tech, I fuck with Vlad. We ain't fucking with Troy. It's like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, I mean, but, but, but look, see, my son and Vlad don't even fuck with each other at this point, so it's not <laughs> even like they teaming up against him. People just don't like Troy yeah, for they different don't. reasons. Some of it's Vlad, Vlad, um, uh, Troy talked a lot about, um. Uh, uh, it was a lot of this is the part I didn't like. I, I okay, let's right. talk about That's something that Troy Ave said that was strong. He he got at Vlad's clear criticism of him. Vlad kept bringing up in the interview with DJ Academics that, um, you know, you got your man's killed, you talk slick about his mother, and then you didn't even attend the funeral. Troy Ave had a good rebuttal. He said that he was in custody at the time, there was no way he could have attended the funeral but he did send his regards and send flowers and things of that and you so. know what i'm so glad you said that because a lot yeah. of listen that goes to show you what vlad is doing mm -hmm. he's just trying to get shots and take shots you got your man's kill you didn't even attend the funeral it's just you're just trying to get stuff because that's an enemy well you're hold not on. Saying, go okay ahead. go ahead go ahead and no he's not saying anything that's just going to be factual that he could claim that you know, Troy Ave's this bad guy because he didn't attend the funeral. You just trying to pick shots at somebody that you don't like, and that's what it says to you. Couldn't even say that he wasn't there because he was locked up. You saying like he didn't even attend the funeral. The family don't like him, so it's like that just shows to me that Vlad is. You well, know, let his me. Points let, I'll, I'll say mm -hmm. this: uh, if Troy Ave was in jail, and I believe what he's saying, I'll take his word for that. Vlad misspoke, but. On this same video, Troy Ave has tax. Um, he has Casanova on the thumbnail, and he's uh, mentioning that Vlad got people killed and got people locked up out of the interview. I would like Troy Ave to point to a specific instance where somebody's Vlad interview got used to get them locked up. When he put Casanova up there, that was a common rumor. But if you look at Casanova's case, they brought up the the, the, the interview that he had with Nick Cannon. When Casanova said, I'm still ape, and they was like, yo, he on the interview talking about he's still with gang member, and then they tied him into some other shit. So I don't know of a specific instance where a Vlad interview got somebody locked up. I don't I don't think that's true. Vlad has uh well, I mean it's not that it's true or not, it's just that okay, now you bringing up narratives about me, you talking, right? You don't know what you're talking about about me. You know about i got my man's killed i didn't attend a funeral 
So now I'm gonna take some shots at you. Bro, you didn't know you got AR Ab uh bail. You had him talking reckless. I don't with you. listen. AR Ab was listen, implicated listen. in okay. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm saying that to his defense, of course. Yes. Now, since you wanna claim that I got my man's killed, which I didn't, and you wanna throw all of these, you know, false claims out here. Now I'm gonna just challenge some shit with people who've been on your platform and how they got. Okay, messed up. well that's cool, but the whole theme of this video was hypocrisy. So if right. Troy Ed was talking about he has all this integrity and hypocrisy, then you shouldn't be making up lies against him just because he's making up lies against you. You could defend yourself, you could set the record straight, but you just as bad as Vlad. He he talks about hypocrisy. That's an example of hypocrisy to me. I also didn't like uh, around 12 minutes. He's talking about, you know, uh, he's kind of repeating some myths about the black dollar. He's saying that black people need to spin together and like people who do shit with Vlad is don't got integrity. The Jewish dollar goes around however many times in the community and the black dollar goes out. <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna right. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> if anybody looks that up, just look wow. up myths about the circulation of the black dollar. That's all bullshit. It's not oh. real. You know what I'm saying? So um, he kind of tied a lot of his stuff about Vlad to racism, xenophobia. I didn't like that. You know, if, if you want to make a valid uh, case against Vlad being a culture vulture, I feel like you need to prove that this man is stealing from the culture and then trying to pass the ideas off as his own, or maybe he's using it get to get to a point and not truly engage with the culture he doesn't really love it so he could do something else at a later time that's more of a culture vulture to me just because he's interviewing people and getting money off of hip-hop i don't think that's wrong but troy ab is trying to make it seem like it's a bad thing like because he's not black he can't speak on black issues let me ask you bob do you agree with that should to, to, should vlad keep his nose out of black issues being that he's a jewish man Ooh, that's touchy. That's touchy right there. That's, that's what Troy I'm saying. I'm asking you how you feel. How I feel about it. Uh oh, man, that's that's touchy. I mean, when I look at the problems in our community, it's poverty, definitely, and money. Okay. That's what I see what we could fix our community. Um uh, Vlad TV, I can't really put Vlad in there, but I mean, throughout the history and times, we know that our people always be subject to, if it's, you know, some people say that about football. They say, you know, football is culture vulture in the people because all of our kids want to play football or basketball, and that's right. ran by different cultures. So right. I can see somebody taking that claim if we don't have nothing that, you know, people rush to that they want to do for their own people i can see people taking that claim but i can't totally put it on the individual that they're culture vulturing because of the situation but well the it's, question it's is something should vlad keep his, name, his nose out of black <laughs> black people business i mean that's the question uh, <laughs> <laughs> should he i mean you went over the river through the woods in the grandma's uh, house. If I'm I had to choose you. one, if I had to choose one, right? You get that girl, you put me somewhere now because it's like I don't want to get into nobody's business with telling them, yeah, man, you need to keep it. But if I had to go with one route, if you would have had to say, look, bro, just choose one. Should he keep his business in or if he keep his business out? I'm gonna say, yeah, go ahead and keep your business out, man. Go ahead, uh, see, out of there, bro. <laughs> fair. Now that's where I think Troy I went wrong for me. I don't like right. the xenophobia thing. He said he like at one point he said, go back to your country and talk about <laughs> stuff that's going on in Ukraine or whatever. He said, I didn't like that. Like, if like sometimes I like to read about uh, history, I like to read about yeah. politics, science. If I make a YouTube video talking about that. That if a white person said, you know what, keep your nose out of white affairs, you know, go back to your country, you know, because I want to talk about Republicans or something like that, they would be dead ass wrong. So I'm not going to act like when so Troy you said tell that. Me, okay, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you was commentary and being all on another culture's, uh, you was making money off another culture, let's say if it was the Jewish or the Iranian, whatever Troy have said, right? Do you feel like it would be people in there that would be like, yo, 
Why don't you just cover your own culture? Do you feel like it would be people yeah, just like, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't respect that. If I want to open up a pizza shop tomorrow and I want to like serve spaghetti out of there, I don't feel like Italian people have the right to tell me, go back to Africa. You're not allowed to. You're a culture vulture. You're not allowed to sell spaghetti, sell pizza. Where I'm from, I'm from, I'm from a little place called Broward County. You might go to a pizza shop and it'd be mostly Haitian people in there. Uh, you you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wants to appreciate a culture, as long as they're not being disrespectful, by all means, do that. Vlad is out here interviewing Smokey Robinson. Uh, I don't see a lot of even black people doing that. Vlad gave uh, uh, Pops Witherspoon his last interview. Nobody did a deep dive on Pops before John Witherspoon is his name. Nobody did a deep dive on Pops like that before vlad did it he's doing good things for the culture all of that getting people locked up and killed stuff i can't really attest to that because ar ab was doing a lot of other stuff to get himself locked up i i don't think they needed a vlad interview he was implicated in a lot of stuff and, and if you want to go look up uh ar ab self snitching on the internet you could find a compilation of times where AR Ab was admitting to crimes online without the help of Vlad or anybody. So, you know, I just thought that wasn't that wasn't really that cool. I'll be, I be on here. I'll give Troy Ab props when he drop a I, hot I track. He do yeah. something I agree with. This didn't hit the mark for me. I didn't like it. Too, too no, racist. I get what you're saying, xenophobic. but I'm saying if it was the other way around, if you was uh, the same thing on Vlad and you was interviewing the type of people and things bad happened to them, to those people, even if they was doing it themselves, there would be people within that culture that would disown you. They would say, bro, you, we don't really need you commenting on our stuff. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, everybody got opinions. Not everybody's opinion is important. Not yeah, everybody's right. opinion is right. Another thing Troy Ave did that wasn't cool, he made some fun of, uh, you know, uh, Hassan Campbell. Now, people got to be careful when they're doing that now. If you don't like Hassan Campbell, that's cool. But if I'm going to diss Hassan Campbell, I don't need to make fun of sexual assault on children. So if you're making fun of what he's claiming happened to him or alleged to have happened to him, yeah, there's a little debate about whether people believe him or not. But if you're making fun of that as if you believe him, that's kind of a line I'm not going to cross. Troy, I've talked a lot about integrity. I'm not going to go there either. That's something that I feel like you got to be careful with that. You know, you can't have, uh, if, if everybody knows the, the, the backstory on that, uh, Hassan says that he was sexually assaulted as a minor by Africa right. Bombada and all of that. I don't make jokes about that. You don't hear me talking about that. If that's true, that's terrible. You know, and, you know, I don't this care if he was 16. I it's hip-hop. Hip -hop. It's hip-hop. This is a different culture. We go. This is by a whole new set of rules, the type of beef, and you see what Charleston White handle. You see how whack can you it's see how it is? Too. I can have a problem with it. You know, what yeah, saying? yeah. Not no, I'm not saying you can't have a problem with it, but I'm saying yeah. in this culture, we it's hardcore first. People gonna yeah. hit you where it hurts, and they don't all of that trying to be nice and trying to they ain't they ain't caring about that. They gonna hit you where it hurts, and then wherever the car is lay. So. I mm -hmm. get you. I wish it was more people like you in the industry, so they wouldn't even be talking about it. But in well, this look. industry, they gonna hit you if you got any of that going on. Yeah, they gonna they gonna poke at you, dog. It's it's, it's the streets. <laughs> I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. That's just the nature of uh, the, beast. the, yeah. the community <laughs> we in. Now, I want people to tap in on the comments. Should Vlad keep his nose out of black affairs because he's Jewish? <laughs> Does Vlad get people locked up? That's I Are mean, Vlad no, I hate even and, ask him that question because it's like it's well, making. We just trying to close up, Bob. I know, <laughs> but and we want to know how you feel about him making fun of sexual assault of a minor. Me and Hassan Campbell is that out of bounds or is this hip hop? Is that just how we get it? Get down, y'all. Tap in on the comments, man. Yeah, man. We're gonna All catch right, y'all so. on the next 